Somebody has pissed the highest off. The highest said he's tired of feeding them, giving to them when all they do is complain. And the highest sound like that mama, right? Who's talking to her ungrateful kids while she's giving them a whipping. <laughs> After all I done did for you, you want to sit up here and complain? <laughs> he was livid. This is my review of Tyler Perry's Ruthless season three, episode number 11, titled Late Supper. And all the while they're standing there in the yard, Daikon was agreeing with him like the entire time. Yes, sir. They're all evil, sir. This place is beautiful. It's paradise. What do you want to do, your highest? And at this point, I don't know if he's talking about Andrew or if he's talking about Oliver, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And the boy toy soldiers here in the back, they want no better. <laughs> they playing right into the highest shenanigans. Yes, we're ready for war, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Just soft and simple triggers. They'll do almost anything for him. Now, did y'all know that River was still hiding from Daikon? Why? And I thought that Ruth had already taken care of it with the oxycodone cover-up. He ran into the finance trailer sweating, panting, and crying. And Joan is cool as a cucumber, right? He told her that he was scared that when all the money becomes available, that the highest is going to take all the money and leave them there on the compound. And how does he know all of this? Well, because the highest told him. He wanted River to tell him what they would do if he were to leave. And listen, that would be a whole new series all on its own, right? Can you imagine the highest in the free world living a normal life? Walk around Walmart with that robe on? <laughs> and Joan tried to bring some comfort to River by telling him that the highest is not going to leave because she's going to be with him the entire time. And she told River to man up because River is crying like real tears. He ought to be glad that the highest is thinking about leaving. Then he could be free, but I guess the money means more to him than anything in this moment. So River's still upset, telling Joan that they need another plan and that he has to talk to Ruth. Then Joan told him that Ruth has bigger fish to fry. She's supposed to be pregnant by the highest but she's not pregnant so she's got all of that to deal with and Joan is just as concerned as River is but she's finding a different way to deal with it right she's remaining cool under pressure while River he's worried and freaking out because he ain't gonna get none of the money now we're inside the trailer with Elder Mother Supreme Oliver and Lacey when Zane slid more bread underneath the door for Oliver and Lacey but then Elder Mother started calling out to see who it was and then she specifically called Zane and it's at this point that Zane should have dipped <laughs> Why did you peep your head in the door? Why? Now Elder Mother Supreme knows that she's been sneaking food in for them. And Oliver really tried throwing her off by saying that Zane was bringing the food to her. Then Zane was like, yeah, Elder Mother, I knew you were in here and I'm concerned about you being in here in all that heat, but it didn't work. She told Zane that she was being punished by the highest and that she was just fine. And Lacey took this opportunity to let Elder Mother Supreme have it. She called her old and wanted to know why she was so mean all the time. Then we see Ruth looking for Elder Mother because she needed to fix the highest plate. She told River that she's been watching the highest for a while now and she noticed that after he eats, he's very calm and mellowed out. And River interjected that when he's not on the meds, that he's actually being abused by the highest. He also told Ruth that the highest is thinking about leaving because it's only a matter of time before the cartel pull up, right? And Ruth is more concerned with finding Elder Mother because she knows that if something does pop off, that he'll handle it way better if he has his medicine. And River said that he'll go and find her, but he wanted Ruth to go with him. But she said that she's going to go and find out what medications Elder Mother is putting in his food. And it's hard for Ruth to see exactly what it is because Elder Mother pulls off all the labels. And while River was looking for Elder Mother Supreme, he saw Zane coming from the punishment trailer. And this girl is suffering abuse in so many ways, right? She's being abused by Manny. And then we see River here scolding her just because she left food for Lacey and Oliver. So don't be surprised if we see Zane fly off the handle in upcoming episodes. She's going to snap up that only we're alone. Her best friend is in the punishment trailer and one of her best friends got shot and then she took off through the woods somewhere. She does all the right things but yet she still ends up apologizing for it and River wants to be sure that she stays out of that punishment trailer for his own selfish reasons. He wants to make sure that she doesn't get jammed up and thrown into that trailer because if she does she just might get delirious like Malcolm and Lacey. She ended up telling him that Elder Mother Supreme is also in the punishment trailer with him. So he's got to go and tell Ruth now. Then we see Ron away Andrew stepping into the men's trailer and he walked in on a plan to hand of spades <laughs> and I guess Andrew needs to know who wants to leave who doesn't want to leave because he's going to shut the compound down right but they're all just as brainwashed as elder mother is they don't want to leave and they're all down with the raccoon so Andrew didn't have any luck in there with anyone who wanted to escape so he left then you always got this one 
just one who got a look at you sideways because he thinks something is suspicious. So when he left, Ruth looked out the kitchen window and told him to come in, and she wanted to know what was going on. He told her that if he died, to tell his son that he died in the line of duty. He told her that he's a federal agent and he's been undercover this entire time. And Ruth had the reaction of some women <laughs> when they ask if their man's been cheating, then they tell you the truth and then you get mad. <laughs> He told her everything. He told her everything she was asking for. Then she got mad and told him to get out. And I'm like, you're the one who called him in, ma'am, right into the kitchen in the first place. He told her that there were three agents there on the compound, and if they don't get them out soon, that the government's going to shut the entire camp down. And Ruth is in disbelief. She's mad and she's disappointed. He told her, if you don't believe me, go and look in the cooler and also look in the trailer. And I think Andrew's going to go in and call in the compound. You know, go ahead and close the case. And he knows that it's not going to be easy and that he may even have to die to save everybody. And this is why he told Ruth to deliver the news to his son. So we move back to the trailer with Elder Mother getting some of Lacey's anger and hurt thrown at her. She called Elder Mother an old bee and that she hated what she allowed Lilo to do to her. And Lacey wanted to know why she did it. And Elder Mother was like, oh, I don't know why I did it. Maybe it's because I heard that your JJ was open like the front door of a barn <laughs> and that hers was tight. Oh my God. <laughs> Then she told Lacey that Oliver wanted to give it to her, but she turned him down. Girl, you ain't turning Oliver down. We know that you ain't turning down on Maker Stick, especially Oliver's. Mm -mm, nope, never. She told her that when they all get out of there, that she's going to tell the highest to let Lacey work up under her so that she can let her see the purgatory of the compound that she was talking about. So Daikon's still on the hunt for Andrew. He went into the men's trailer and they still play in spades. And I don't know who's winning because I, st I don't see anybody taking score. He told them that they're all looking for Andrew and they can help out too if they try to come and help look for him. And here go Happy Harold. He jumped up and ran to the door. He can't wait to please Daikon. <laughs> So Manny told Daikon that Andrew can't be too far because all the vehicles are in place and none of the men saw him leave. So Ruth is on the hunt for the truth. She decided to call Andrew's bluff and went to the cooler and sure enough there was Malcolm all curled up freezing to death. And I don't know why Ruth kept leaning over in the cooler in the first place but she leaned over like one too many times and then Malcolm grabbed her <laughs> and she punched him and managed to get him off her and as soon as she let the lid down on the cooler cooler the highest walked up and he wanted to know what she was doing she lied her way out of it as usual by saying that she was looking for some food to cook because she couldn't find the elder mother game right <laughs> and he knew that she was lying because he saw that she saw malcolm inside and when she tried to leave he called her back and opened the lid himself they determined that Malcolm was a traitor for sure, and he asked Ruth if she wanted to punish him. And to punish him, that means killing him. And of course, Ruth came with some more game, talking about she can't kill him because she's pregnant and killing him would just be too much for her. And Ruth quickly changed the subject. She said, do you want me to find the elder mother so you can eat? Because she knew that he was gonna start unraveling at any minute if they didn't get those meds fed to him. He told her that she was in the punishment trailer and when she walked off, Malcolm started begging to get out and he told him that if he's dying, then F the highest. <laughs> And the highest said, well, you might just get your wish. Just tread lightly because it's actually going to be the other way around. Now, y'all know that the highest was not going to miss the opportunity to seed fresh meat Malcolm. <laughs> mm -mm, not happening. So Ruth had to stop by the torture trailer to see if another agent was in there. And when she stepped in, she saw Lynn on the floor. And she's telling her, oh, tell Elder Mother that I'm in the punishment trailer. I know her. I know her. She can help me get out. <laughs> I'm like, girl, Elder Mother is in the trailer next to you. She can't help you do anything. Then we have Brian here, still naked on the table, trying to remind Ruth about who he was. And Ruth is still playing that Raku game. She's talking about she don't know what he's talking about, right? Then he said, well, do you know Sam? <laughs> Listen, this right here reminded me of the scene from Life, right? Do y'all remember when they locked Martin and Eddie up and the sheriff came in and they were there talking about, do you know Spanky Johnson? Y'all remember that? <laughs> 
And the sheriff was like, Spanky? Spanky Johnson? And this is when they lit up. They just knew that they were about to get out, right? And Brian's desperation to get out reminded me of that scene. He started mentioning her daughter and Barry and about Callie being kidnapped, but Ruth stuck to her guns and told him that she didn't know what he was talking about. And it's a good thing that she's taking in everything Andrew told her and she's not overreacting, nor is she letting what's going on cause her to get out of character. She's just taking it all in, right? Because Daikon is standing at the trailer getting an earful. He wanted to know what she was doing at the torture trailer and then he started to profess his love for her talking about he thinks about her all the time does she think about him and all the things right and when she bought up the highest name he flip mode <laughs> and told her to shut up before he busted her skull and all Ruth got to do is pull that robe up one good time shut him up <laughs> That's all he wants, just to get him back in line. Then we run into Manny and Happy Harold here looking for Andrew, and neither of them want to disappoint Daikon because they can't find him. And Happy Harold said that there's only one place that they didn't check, and that was at the bottom of the tower. He said that Andrew may be in there on his belly, and he may be right because when they thought that the government was coming, that was Andrew's post, right? He ran straight to the top of the tower, and then he called Mac. And I don't know if he called Mac if he's gonna pick up this time because Mac, he seems a bit suspicious, right? Right? especially after the highest and daikon said that he was in with the rakadushis so i hope that andrew will be very careful but something big is about to happen guys because we have 11 more episodes of ruthless in this season right season three and we have an entire season four to look forward to so this has me on the edge of my seat somebody's not going to make it out alive and i'm talking about a major character then ruth finally made it to the punishment trailer after all her investigating and snooping around she told elder mother that the highest needs his dinner and she She's been forgiven and when they tried to release her they realized that they didn't have the key and the mother said why would he send you to get me without the key so as Ruth was leaving to grab that key Lacey said Ruth don't you want to tell elder mother about your plan you River Tally and Joan the plan that y'all have to leave the compound she was running her mouth about that letter that Paula wrote everything and she's pissed at Ruth and spilling the beans because Ruth knew that they were in that punishment trailer right before they escaped and she did nothing to try to help to get him out so she big mad then Ruth called her a lying deserter and then went over there and kicked her dead in her face bet that shut her up when she left to get the key elder mother told her that she believed what Lacey was saying but none of it mattered because Ruth is pregnant and she's getting ready to marry the highest Lacey was like you gotta be effing kidding me <laughs> Elder Mother told her that she was going to witness the wedding and that she was going to get converted too. Then we see River stepping into the highest trailer to see how he was doing. Really, River? Loud have mercy. The highest told him that he was having a bad day. So River asked if there was anything that he could do. And the highest was like, yeah, you could come see me tonight. River walked right into that one, right? Why are you going to ask this man if there's something that you can do? You already know what he's going to say. If it's painful for you to be with him and you're tired of him using objects on you then stay away from him especially stay away from those open-ended questions like that <laughs> I guess we'll see River hogtied in next week's episode. Sheesh. So when he left, here comes Daikon, letting the highest know that they can't find Andrew. And I'm with the highest on this one. He said, are you serious? <laughs> like how many places can one man be with men on alert and soldiers on the lookout? And this made him very agitated. Then Ruth comes in with more bad news. And the first thing he said is, where's my food? And she's telling him that she doesn't have the key to unlock the elder mother. So he posed the question, do I have to do everything? And this is where things would have made a world of difference because throughout the entire episode, the highest has been on edge, right? And agitated for one reason or the other. And had Ruth had the key, he would have never had to go inside that punishment trailer. But because he didn't have the key, he felt that he had to go and unlock her, which is where Oliver and Lacey met their end. And one of the subscribers said that Lacey isn't dead and that she's going to be in a future episode, but we'll get to that in the final scene. And Ruth and Daikon should be the main two people to get the highest call right because they know that he needs that medicated Waffle House plate right <laughs> and number two they know that the bad news gets him all worked up and want to kill people so they need to tag team this thing right on the plates making sure the food is good they need to make sure that they flood him with more good news and in our final scene I covered this scene in my highlights video and if you missed it I'll leave it linked above the highest went in and he unlocked elder mother and he's anxious to get his food right he began to tell him that Lace has been running her mouth but before she could spill the beans about 
about what she said about Ruth, he cut her off and he told her to go and make his food. Now the highest is all alone with Oliver and Lacey. And Oliver apologized. He apologized for pulling the gun on him. And the highest said that he must be effing Lacey because he was protecting her. And Oliver did admit that he was the mandingo who had her wide open. <laughs> Then the highest said, well, do it now. Then Oliver tried and he tried to get out of it. He said, well, I'm in chains. I can't do it. And the highest was like, well, that's all right. I got something for all of that. <laughs> He didn't take the handcuffs off, but he did cut them pants up real good, right? Oliver got their pants off somehow, and he went in, literally. He wanted Lacey to look him in his eyes, and he told her that he loved her. The highest asked if he felt good. He told him yes, and then it was lights out. They're gone. But like I said, someone did comment that Lacey's going to be in a future episode, so maybe she's got a little tummy wound or something and will be all right. And if she is, I'm very interested to see if she's going to have another opportunity to tell the high is what Ruth's plans were in scene. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoy making it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You know I'd appreciate it. And if you're a Ruthless fan, go ahead and sub to the channel because I do videos like this all the time. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Ruthless TV and I'll see you on the next one.